What's going on, everybody? It's AG here. It's time for this week's top 25. Now, we have a little movement here with some upsets. Clemson gets upset. AM gets upset. We will have the college football playoff rankings revealed this week, so there's going to be some moving in the polls. But let's go ahead and get to my top 25 this week. Starting off at number 25, we've got Kansas State coming off a pretty bad loss to a bad Houston team. Houston this year is not very good, so that that's a bad loss on Kansas State's resume. And their only other loss up to this point is a pretty dominant loss to BYU. But Kansas State, they still somewhat control their own destiny here moving forward to make the Big 12 championships. So they're still, you know, there's still some hope for them if they can win out here, maybe upset some teams. They might be able to jump back into that race, but it's going to be tough. Number 24, Washington State. They still only have one loss here. They've done pretty good this year. If all heck, all chaos breaks loose above them, they could somehow slip into the playoff, but it would have to be very chaotic above them. Number 23, Pitt. They had been undefeated until this week, but SMU manhandled Pitt. Uh, SMU looked like a top 25 team. Pitt did not. So SMU moves up. Pitt moves down, barely holding on to the top 25 spot. 22, Vanderbilt. They have an impressive resume so far. They got that win today versus Auburn. They do have three losses, but with what else they have done this year, they're still a top 25 team. Number 21, Iowa State. They suffered their first loss here. They have been up to undefeated to this point and kind of looked like the Big 12's best hope to get two teams in was them and BYU. That's probably not the case right now. So unless a lot of madness occurs, as of right now, Big 12 is probably going to be a one bid one bid team this year. But Iowa State could somehow make it two teams if, let's say, a bunch of teams lose. Iowa State beats BYU in the Big 12 championship. Then we might be on to something, but right now it's not looking good. 20 Army, they are still undefeated. They still have a lot of tough teams to play. This is the team that can jump Boise State and get that G5 spot in the playoff if they beat Notre Dame. 19 Clemson kind of got beat pretty handily against Louisville today. Kind of shocker. I thought Clemson was the team to beat in the ACC, but – Louisville got after them today. Number 18, Texas A&M didn't quite look like the team in that second half against LSU last week. They couldn't really get things going for Reed ground, on the ground-wise. And a and I don't know if they're going to go back to Wyman. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think the quarterback play is the reason they lost. But the offense coordinator is going to have to figure out a way to tailor-made this offense around Reed. Number 17, Louisville. They beat Clemson. They have three losses, but all those losses are teams above them. They've lost to SMU, they've lost to Miami, they've lost to Notre Dame, all by seven points apiece, not bad losses at all, plus a quality win over Clemson. Louisville's a good football team. Number 16, South Carolina. So last week I had South Carolina and Louisville in the bottom of my top 25. Had some comments questioning why. Well, this week you saw why. Okay, Despite having three losses, these two teams are top 25 teams, no doubt. They can beat anybody on any given night. South Carolina gets the win over A&M. They're uh, moving up in my rankings for me. Number 15, LSU. Haven't quite done anything too impressive of yet, you know, in the polls. Now, they did lose to AM last week. So that uh, should they be above AM? That's debatable here. But I, I moved them up here because I thought really that South Carolina kind of made AM look a little different. I think you give LSU a week to prepare against AM and that offense with Reed, I think is a different story. But LSU. Only has one loss in SEC play, as is AM, so they could still easily move up here. Number 14, Boise State. Boise State, only one loss to Oregon. As of right now, they look like the favorite to get that G5 spot. Number 13, Ole Miss. Their playoff hopes are on the line this next week. Now, they looked really good this week against Arkansas, but what can they do this next week versus Georgia? That's going to be the tell there. If they win it, they're in good shape going forward. Number 12, Alabama. Same with them next week. Them versus LSU, pretty much a college football playoff elimination game. Can they get the job done? We're going to find out. Number 11, SMU. Dominant win over Pitt today. SMU's looking good. As of right now, if they went out, and they definitely have the schedule to win out, them in Miami, ACC championship. If SMU beats Miami, ACC is getting two teams in. If not, ACC might be in the same situation as the Big 12. Number 10, Notre Dame. Notre Dame, again, minus that loss to Northern Illinois. They have looked like a good football team this year. They had that one over Texas A&M. Number nine, Tennessee. They struggled at some points today versus Kentucky, but they end up pulling out the win. They're still at one loss. Eight, Indiana. They are undefeated as well uh, as the team above them here in a second. But Indiana, if they can win out and only lose to Ohio State or even beat Ohio State, 
If they went out, lose to Ohio State, Indiana's making the college football playoff, believe it or not. Number seven, BYU, they are the Big 12's team right now. They are undefeated. Like I said earlier, them and Iowa State were kind of their best chance to get two teams in. Not looking likely now, but BYU has a win over SMU, has a big dominant win over Kansas State. BYU's looking good despite winning by a really slim margin these past few weeks. Number six, Penn State, they lose to Ohio State, but it was a pretty close game. Now, Ohio State probably could have beat them worse if you know they don't fumble the ball. But also, at the same time, Penn State gets in the red zone, does not score within the five a couple times. Penn State's a playoff team, no doubt. Number five, Miami. With how their schedule plays out, them and SMU kind of have the path now to win out and play each other in the ACC championship. Number four, Texas. They have that one loss to Georgia. Haven't really beaten anybody of note, but they have been pretty consistent. I think they're a top five team. Number three, Ohio State. They had the one over Penn State today, have a loss to Oregon. You could even argue they should be number two. Two, Georgia. They struggled today against Florida a little bit. Got a little lucky that Lagway got hurt, but Georgia stays at number two for not losing. And number one, Oregon. They beat Michigan pretty handily today. I thought that might be kind of an upset special there for Oregon and Michigan, but it didn't happen. But what do you think of my top 25? Who would you add? Who would you take out? Let me know. Comment down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. 